whiteboard before you start. Whiteboard and a marker. A few years now, I'll talk while you guys are doing it. These things. Almost uh, you know, a few years back, students asked me, they said they wanted, they wanted to do something that was more interactive. This was before we had computers in the classroom. Uh, before, you know, more, longer than last year, I mean. Um, before we had um, nice clickers and all the rest of it. They wanted to do some interaction stuff when we did review. And one of them was uh, they wanted to do Jeopardy. And I said, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to spend all this time trying to go through and uh, put Jeopardy games together. And the students said, they said, Mr. Newman, we'll, we'll do it. If you let us play it, if we, you let us compete it, we'll do it. And I, I don't, I actually have a printout. I could, I could email you guys ever want to email me stuff. I put it online. Uh, some of the science guys, I sent out some uh, physics Jeopardy stuff that had the, already had the printout on it. Uh, I had the kids write rules for different games. They had to come up with entire classroom rules, and then we all voted on it, and they all typed it up real nice for me to have it a, 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 like a lesson. And, um, and then they had to go through, we, we were doing physics and we were doing biology. And whatever chapter we were on, we'd spend a day where all the students had to go through the chapter and they had to come up with one topic and they had to write five questions slash answers for that topic. So to me it was a great way for them to actually read the book. You know, they actually went through it. And, uh, and then they had to share it with the people next to them. Everybody had to have their own, but they had to share with the people next to them. And each group decided on who had the best set. So out of a class like this, which most of the classes were about 30 kids, I would have six quality questions slash answers. And then my job at the time, was before PowerPoint, uh, was to have some kid read it off a piece of paper. So he'd write it all down and read it off a piece of paper. Um, and, and the kids loved it. And we did, uh, they didn't have the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire um, but uh, we did some other game shows. I can't remember what it was. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, they would do with vocabulary words, almost like a bingo type thing. Um, but, but everybody loves the Jeopardy. And I have here on the, um, on the handout, I, I gave for each of these ways to use technology, I put a link to my website where there's actual video of kids interacting with these projects. So it's not just him saying, all this stuff's great, kids love it. And then if you came here any day, the kids are like, you suck, I hate this, it's worse. You actually see the kids get excited about using technology in the classroom in different ways. You actually hear, ooh, ah, yay, ooh. Um, and the Jeopardy has progressed at such a great rate that on YouTube, I actually have uh, videotapes of us playing Physics Jeopardy and people, all you know, 10,000 hits, people love it, they put comments on it. Um, you can watch any of the games. I put the PowerPoints online so kids can get it down. Uh, my PowerPoint's a little more um, graphically designed than, than this one, but it's all the same. They all run the same, the PowerPoints. He, he means nicer. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and, and you better. can download them for free. Um, I don't know if you guys want, if you got a chance to look at the, the Jeopardy stuff I had put on that disc I sent to you. Um, but and it's got all the sound. But the basic thing is, when I came here, he was doing the Jeopardy too, and he was, he was whiteboarding what he's giving to you right now. And before... I had actually got the, uh, the electronic one where the kids have a remote and actually keep score up here, who's right and who's wrong and who got it in first. And the kids love that. But something about using that electronic one is kids would drop out when their score got too low. So this group over here would all of a sudden, they'd start throwing things at those kids yeah, yeah. instead of playing anymore. And, and uh, my director always said, you know, everybody in the school is doing Jeopardy now. The whole school's doing it. But you gotta, you got to sit down and think of a way to keep the entire class engaged the whole 50 minutes. Because that's the only problem with Jeopardy is that kids, some kids who do all the work rapidly go up in Jeopardy, and some kids rapidly go down. And um, with the whiteboarding, we, we did it in here, and all the kids participated the entire time. They're writing down scores. they got points all over. But the kids aren't really adding them up. The pluses no. and minuses. Yeah, the so nobody really knows who's winning. They're just yeah. looking at like oh, all these numbers yeah. all over the place. And, and they <laughs> might get competitive, you know. And some kids will cheat. They'll add themselves 50 points out of nowhere. But, you know, I, yeah. I don't, not everybody agrees with Someone me on knows. this. But sometimes, you know, it's, it's okay to let that happen. And it's okay to lie to them and say, oh, yeah, if you get all these points, you're going to get, you know, 100 points on your exam. You, you know, I, I mean, I don't mean that as a lie in the sense that, you know, you, you don't do, you don't do it, but 
you know, you end up giving everybody a couple extra credit points, you know, or stuff like that. The way I've set it up is that the kids, when, when we do Jeopardy, we take turns choosing questions, um, but everybody has to answer on their smart board. Yeah. Yeah. And board. as soon as on they're the ready, yeah. yeah, I mean, they're, they're yeah, <laughs> not smart boards, on their whiteboard. Um, so they, uh, they write their answer, okay, whatever they think it is, and as soon as I say, okay, time's up, show me your answers, everybody lifts their smart board. You can do it in pairs if you don't want to look at so many. Um, and you're like, okay, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's wrong, or whatever. Um, in another addition to how he was doing it, where he was trying to keep score, he had someone keep score, if you print this page out right here, all right, so every one of you gets this, it's one of these pieces of paper, if you get it right, you know, it's easy enough. We go right, 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 right. You put an X on it. So you know that one got right, or you put a zero on it. As a teacher, you got groups one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You go one, two, three, and then those are the ones that got it right. So you don't have to go through and add up all the scores, and you could quickly write on this sheet who got this one right, who got this one right. So you know they got the points, and if other kids come up and say, oh, I got X's all like here, like they're playing bingo, and you look and you're like, I didn't write your number down for any of those. You didn't get those right. So let's say that we pick one of these questions. We're not going to pick the, the, the physics ones. I always, in order to, to, to add to, to the fun of it, I always have one category that has nothing to do with what I'm teaching, and that's okay too. You know, having fun sometimes is okay. Um, I like this a lot, Celebrity Simpson. Uh, this category basically has five pictures of famous people who have been on The Simpsons as characters, and the kids have to try and figure out who that is. Like, let's say somebody says, Celebrity Simpson for 40. And I go on to there, and they see who that is. You write that person's name okay? on the Okay, and you write that person's name down on the, right, on the whiteboard without screaming it out. So everybody do that. Okay. Write whoever you think that is on the whiteboard. Now, one thing that could happen is you, you can the talk principle. to each other. Uh, you can ask because uh, okay. part of it is to, you know, it, it fosters conversation. I'm not sure where to put principal. On the Yeah. What? For high school. The principal at high school. I don't think so. Who do you think is? No. You know, put it down. I don't, I just, I'm just thinking. All right, so I'm going to need to see an answer in five. Four, three, two, one. All right, let me see some whiteboards. All right, this is the moment where he would go or I would go, probably if you do it in groups. You know, okay, that's right, that's right, that's right, and you put it down on your, on your thing. Yeah, that's, that's, uh... Oh, Jerry Springer. That's Jerry Springer. Yeah. Okay? Things like that. And you, obviously, you know... like the principal. Most of this is content stuff. Uh, but, you know, and you know, the kids, the kids don't want to waste this. So I, I wouldn't be afraid of putting something like this on there because the kids will tell each other, no, no, don't do Celebrity Simpson yet. Save it. Save it for later. And they'll actually pick some of this other yeah. stuff first. And then, okay, okay, we, okay, let's do Celebrity Simpson for 30. So how do you, how you, how you give them the points now? Um, you'll have a printout of this. The way I used to do it is I went by honor system and I had the kids on the right, upper right-hand corner or, or left-hand corner. I'd have them, you know, keep their score. Every time they got points, they'd add it. I don't do taking away points because the more math you ask them to do, the more work it is. Um, so just add anything you get right. If you don't get it right, you don't get points. Um, or you have a printout of this. If you have eight groups, you look at the whiteboards. Okay, they got it right. Group one got this one right. Group two got this one, got it right. So you just write, you know, on your sheet, you'd write, okay, two, eight, seven, and five. Those groups got it right, yeah. okay? So they got know, the ten points there. They got the ten oh, points. Okay. Or if it was over there, they got the forty points. You just fill in that little yeah. box with those. Yeah, you probably don't want to write it up here. And now the students point. put X's or O's on that box. Mm -hmm. um, he was having them add up the scores across mm -hmm. ten, but kids start to, to re, you know they start to oh I made them a race of make a mistake all the rest of it. Yeah. So the X's and O's is is less mistake ridden. That they got it right, they put an X. Yeah. They got it wrong, they put a zero. Right. And then they, they have, they got this right, that's 10. They got that wrong, they didn't get that 40. And they can add up this whole, yeah. they could do the math to add it all up across. Yeah. All the, all the X's. Yep. 
so like if you wanted your own record, you know, you could do this, but with the X's and the O's, it's real okay. simple. You just, you know, they add it up and you just collect it in the end. If you were playing for something, then probably the next day, uh, or maybe even that same day, you can, whatever they were playing for, points, a prize, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's huh? the cheapest thing out there. Yeah, uh, 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 get, out, get out of homework free pass, you know, whatever, whatever you, you want to do. Um, let's do one more just for fun. See if I can find one that everybody knows. <laughs> no, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. I, I didn't even know he was on there. <laughs> a lot of kids thought this was a rap star. Oh, yeah. They, yeah, they, <laughs> yeah, they don't know who it is. Yeah. They don't know who it is. Yeah. I do have a, I think I have two rap stars on there. Well, he was the first rap star, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I think 50 Cent is on here. And, uh, okay, you can show me some answers. Yeah. There you go. James Brown. And there's nothing, you know, and, and it's, it's really nice to see all the kids you know, it's almost like the raising the hand thing. So after they raise the hand, after, after they raise it, they would they would mark an X on them on the on yeah, they would mark their own X. Yeah, right or wrong. Yeah, yeah. I say okay, you're right, you're wrong, you're right, you're right, you're so right. So you have to go right. around the thirty guys and okay, all right. I, but I, no, I wouldn't do the no. Um, you all got whiteboards because I wanted you all to do it, but I would put them in groups. Okay, so uh, so one board per group. One board per group. Yeah. Yes, okay. that would make life because I you know. Thirty times, right, wrong, right, wrong, right, wrong, right, wrong. Right, right. right. Yeah, okay. Right. You know, who can gotcha. Do that? And, uh, it, I put a website called wetheteachers.org, which is uh, kind of like the the wiki type stuff, where they they have a section for game show review, where other teachers all put up their powerpoints. So there's all types of Jeopardy powerpoints. There's who wants to be a millionaire, um, the weakest link, all these types of game shows. You can go in there and see all different types of game shows uh, to pick. Uh, from. It's under game show review. It says wetheteachers.org. It's a sharing site for teachers to uh, do that. Mm -hmm. So you could download those. Also, like I said, I have uh, PowerPoints on my website that you can download for Jeopardy. Um, or you can email me. I can email it to you too. And the other ones too. A lot of, there's a, I have maybe 10 I don't see it. different uh, game show PowerPoints all set up. You just put in the questions or Modify what, what you've already done? Yeah, it's, it's just like what he has. It's a PowerPoint. Basically, all you do is type in the text and everything runs. So you type in everything he had up there. You take that PowerPoint just like it's a PowerPoint, and you just change the questions, the answers, and the categories by typing in text. And the PowerPoint runs where it knocks it blue, it knocks it white. Yeah. Um, it runs through all this all by itself. So all this is just this is just text slides. All the all the coding that makes it run that way is already in the PowerPoint. You don't have to worry about this. You just check change the text here, here, and here. Yep. And, and that's it. And the way the way to build it um, is these each slide is um, in order. So if I go you know down this way, this first slide is old school for ten. You know, this next slide is uh, old school for twenty. So it goes. Down the line, so it's pretty easy to follow. You know, you just so yeah. emailed you, you could send us. Yeah. Like yeah. Either one of us, we, we both yeah. have a, we have each other's. Yeah, and, 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 and even if you don't find us, tons. I got this from I, I I just did a search. You know, um, PowerPoint yeah. template. Yeah. yeah. And there's tons out there. Oh. For the people that are still stuck here that haven't ran out the door yet, we have another ten minutes for you. <laughs> no, uh, someone asked about the whiteboards. These are, uh, you buy these at Home Depot for your bathroom shower, and then you ask them, you pay them 50 cents to cut it into whatever size you want. They're $8 for 8 by, I think it's 8 by, uh, 8 by 4. 8 by 4, I think. 4 by 8. Four by eight. And, uh, and there you go. So you, I think, how much are they, like 6 bucks? Oh, yeah. That's true. I, I got my cuts for free. Yeah. And he went to super cuts too. <laughs> <laughs>